I initially was not going to make this video, but because so many of you requested that I do a GTX 1060 uh, SLI setup using different SLI auto, I decided to give it a shot. So this video is gonna be a little bit shorter than my other videos because it's more of an update than a standalone video. If you guys haven't seen my original video of this SLI hack slash project, then go check it out. I SLI two GT 1030s and I go over the software that I used and as well as the performance of the two SLI figures and compare that to a GTX 1050. TI. The video cards that I have are the 1066 gigabyte and the 1063 gigabyte. And I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but the three gigabyte version has clearly less VRAM, but it also has slightly slower memory. So it performs slightly worse than the 1066 gigabyte on average. Now, because I'm running on a dank, cheap college budget, I'm not exactly making a lot of money at this point. <laughs> I decided to just keep the two variants of the 1060s that I have instead of trying to purchase another one, either the three gigabyte or the six gigabyte to match each other. And because different SI Auto allows you to use different variants of NVIDIA video cards, then this should not be a problem at all. With proper scaling, two 1066 gigabytes should outperform or perform similarly to a single GTX 1080. And in all honesty, this doesn't really come as a surprise. More often than not, Crossfire and SLI follow a general rule of thumb. And that's basically, if you have two of the highest end mid-range cards in SLI or Crossfire, they generally perform similarly or outperform a single uh, flagship card from either AMD or Nvidia. We've seen this in the Tesla, Fermi, and Kepler architecture from NVIDIA, and the TerraScale through GCN architecture from AMD. And it's one of the big reasons why NVIDIA stopped supporting SLI on their mid-range cards. 1060s don't support SLI because they could probably outperform a 1080 for a fraction of the cost. But as the gap between mid-range and the high-end continues to expand and Crossfire and SLI support continues to diminish with developers, it's hard to justify a mid-range SLI setup, even if it does save you $100 or $200. And that's essentially what we see here. The only game that truly saw benefit from the 1060s in SLI was Overwatch. I saw around double the performance by combining the two in different SLI auto. We also saw great scaling with the two GT 1030s in Overwatch as well, but not to this extent. The 1060s produced a 3D Mark score rivaling a GTX 1080, like I hypothesized before, but other than that, the scaling wasn't very impressive with any of the other games I tested. Very lackluster, actually, and that all goes back to the fact that SLI and Crossfire have become dying breeds, newer games just don't support it well. I also promised you guys an update with online gameplay using different SLI Auto. Now, in order for the software to work, you have to enable either test side mode for Windows or you have to disable driver signature checking upon boot. These two things both cause uh, modern anti-cheat softwares to throw errors, making it essentially impossible to play a lot of modern online multiplayer games. This means games such as Smite or Far Cry 5 or PUBG or Fortnite, they won't work with different SLI Auto running. A forum member posted a potential solution that seemed to work for him, but unfortunately I was unable to replicate it and get his results. Different SLI Auto either wouldn't run, or BattleEye would still throw errors upon game launches. It seems that he got away with it because his video cards natively support SLI, so perhaps he could bypass the signature signing. Hopefully this will change in the future, and I really hope that different SLI Auto continues to get support even if it is minimal and through the community. Long story short, I stand by my initial conclusion and recommendation of different SLI Auto. It's a very cool software and it's great for casual experiments or for fun projects, but beyond that, it really lacks the practicality for everyday modern use on most people's main gaming rig. If you have nothing to lose, as in you already have video cards laying around and your motherboard already has an extra PCIe slot, then definitely go for it, but I wouldn't bank on using it. So I wouldn't bank on specifically buying another video card with the idea in mind that different SLI auto is going to work in everything that you want it to work for. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a much shorter video than my regular videos, but I decided to get this update out because I know a lot of you were asking about it. So if you have any questions about different SLI auto, then put them in the comments below. Tell me what you think. You can also go to Tech Power Up. They have a forum post page where uh, you can ask questions if you want to use it. Um, but besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.